Well, Mondays here on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the farm organization called the Alliance for the Future of Agriculture in Nebraska, or AFAN. Today, we are hearing more from the organization, and joining us now is AFAN's Executive Director, Steve Martin. Thanks for coming in today, Steve. Good morning, Taryn. Good morning, John. How are you doing? Great. Good. So today, we're talking about livestock modernization. So what does that entail? That is a, a program through the Nebraska Department of Revenue, where if you are a livestock producer and you spend money on your livestock facilities, equipment, um, fencing, waters, any of that type of thing, anything involved in raising livestock, you can apply for a 10% refundable tax credit um, through the Department of Revenue and get some money back from that investment. And if we think about costs of everything have gone up, inflation, interest rates, um, this is a way to lower that cost 10%. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a program through the state. Wow. Do and you think farmers know about this or no. producers? No. <laughs> yeah. Not enough people know about it. Um, and I think the flexibility of, is what's so attractive about it is that, um, you know, if you built a new building, that's a big expense. But it also applies for fencing and some things like that that, you know, you would think about as just normal activities that you're doing. Uh, and you can apply for that, that tax credit. And the deadline is November 1, so that's coming up uh, a little over a month, and so people need to get that in. If, and that's if you've spent money in 2024. Okay. In 2025, we'll have it, it renews and, and it goes again. It is first come, first serve, so we want to make sure you get your application in early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are talking a little bit now about manure, you brought that up, and I know yeah. that's always kind of a, a, you know, people might laugh a little bit about that topic, but that is really an important topic here in our state. It is an important topic, and you know, the University of Nebraska-Lincoln does a ton of research on nutrient management, um, or manure management, if you will, mm -hmm. and when we look at the value of that from a livestock producer, especially if they're a crop producer also, is that you're fertilizing your crop with that, and what most people think of as a waste product is really a valuable resource that can offset a very expensive side of farming, which is the fertilizer cost. And it's great for the soil. It actually builds soil health. One of the really cool things that um, you just never thought about other than you know fertilizer value is that the, it grows all the microbes in the soil. Um, those microbes start to grab onto soil particles and hold them together. And as they do that, it creates bigger pore spaces in the soil, um, which is good for the roots and everything, but it reduces erosion. And because those soil, or those soil particles get bigger and bigger, they're harder for the wind to blow, they're harder for water to wash down a hill, and then it allows more water to go into the soil, trapping more water for a dry year like this year. Wow. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the water side, it's a tremendous benefit to, um, to our soils. And then uh, thinking about it as an organic product, it binds to the soil, which makes it less likely to run off or leach down into groundwater. Um, so, you know, there's some areas mm -hmm. of the state that are challenged with nitrates in the water. This is one strategy for improving that mm -hmm. because you have a product that stays with the soil rather than going down through into groundwater. Very interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. Steve, thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. You bet.